and we're back live on Teacher Cast, live from FETC. We are having such a great time, and one of the things that we're focusing on bringing to you is some of the best applications that are out there. I'm here at the Sora booth. I'm talking to Brian and all about the great things that they're doing to help students have a love for reading. Tell us a little bit about Sora. So Sora is the student reading app, and um, if you're not familiar with Overdrive, we are a mission-based company, and all of our goals around connecting students with reading. And so, as I was saying earlier, you know, we really cut our teeth in terms of with the public library space, connecting readers with those communities. So 12 years ago, when we started work with schools, really understanding that the needs of reading inside of a classroom is so different, the needs of teachers and students is so different. And so, most recently, we developed Sora, and that's the student reading app. That allowed us to engage with students on so many different levels. One, by making it easy for students to access content, but then two, providing all of the tools and resources that students and educators would need when they're interacting with those materials. And then that last piece of insights, helping educators understand where the students are on that journey. Where are they starting? How are they progressing? You know, how are they moving throughout? And how are they engaging with those books? So all of that is really helping create such a, a unique experience. And what we're finding is that students are actually reading more. So in the 2018-2019 school year, we found that students actually doubled their reading sessions. So from the beginning of the year, the amount of time that they actually spent reading increased twofold. So not only were they engaging with more books, but they are actually spending more time reading. When we're looking at students, are we looking at K-12? Are we looking at pre... What, what's the spectrum and what are the topics that we have available to us? That's a great question and it's really anywhere that reading is taking place. So that's anything from your earliest picture books um, all the way up to AP level courses and college readiness and everything in between. We're also finding it could be any range of reading needs. So wherever books are happening and reading is taking place, so that could be programs like uh, sustained silent reading or it could be um, English departments that are looking to make all the required reads available to everybody uh, to anything that students might or want to have access to. So it's really a complete system. Talk to us about the platforms. Everybody right now is on different platforms. There's so much stuff going on. How does this teacher access all this content? So um, one, we make it easy that all of your content needs can be in one place. So any of the materials that you're looking to make available for your students or even materials that they may already have access to like OER content, locally created content, or even your community public library digital resources can all be incorporated into one spot. And then in addition to that, we know that students are finding these resources through any different places. So we do a lot of work to incorporate with the student information systems, the learning management systems, uh, adopting common protocols like OneRoster, um, LTI, Thin Common Cartridge, in order to make sure that wherever a student is coming in and wherever a teacher needs to connect them with that resource, they can with one click find and have access to that ebook. Talk to us a little bit about the financials. How does the school district sign up for the program? So the good news is the app is free and there may already be hundreds if not thousands of titles already available to your community for the benefit of your students through your local public library. And then any of our ebooks and audiobooks are available for purchase. Publishers set the price points. Schools can purchase the right mix and amount of content that they need in order to accomplish their reading goals. Now Brian, one of the things that we love about these conferences is the ability for companies like yours to interact with teachers. What kind of feedback are you getting from these conferences and what's making teachers excited about the platform? I think one of the most exciting things is it helps students where they're at. So we had one teacher approach us and by simply showing the ebook to their student and then toggling it into the open dyslexic font, the student actually said out loud, wow, the words aren't jumping off the page. And so hearing stories like that, and, and, and those are just individual stories, um, I'm actually really proud that Overdrive uh, and Sora app was just named one of Time Magazine's 2019 Best Inventions of the Year. So it's a combination of not only the individual stories that we're hearing from teachers, but just the understanding of how it's impacting schools and how they are actually getting students more books and getting students to read more within those books. That is an amazing feedback. Congratulations. Where do we learn more and how do we uh, take advantage of this? I love that. Great question. You can go to discoversora.com. Any educator can uh, get a 60-day trial access. It's a sample collection. You can download the app, connect to it, use all the same tools that your students would have access to. And then you can also reach out to Overdrive uh, to find out how we can get Sora implemented for your school or your district. Highly recommend you guys checking this stuff out. I'm here live at the Sora booth with Brian Moore from TeacherCast at FETC. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and keep up to date with everything that's happening on the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury. We'll be back with a lot more from FETC. You've been listening to the TeacherCast Educational Network, hosted by Jeff Bradbury. 
please reach out to the show with all of your questions on Twitter at TeacherCast or online at www.teacherCast.net. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss any future episodes. And please take a moment to write a review in the App Store.